All right. Huh? How much? Well, your volume, not counting ears, so to speak, looks like eight cups. <laughs> well, if we counted ears, it'd be more like 12 cups. The total is... Gee, it's 30 cups. We've grown. It's cooking time. Yes, cooking. I'm making something yummy for your great victory. <laughs> Hmm. Fresh hop cones, check. Mint leaves, check. Huh. Organic roots of motherwort. Organic roots of motherwort. Organic roots of motherwort. Ah. <sighs> now that's some good motherwort. All right. How are you getting on? Oh. Purple pellets. It's just horrible. We nearly forgot the Chinese rose petals. Listen here. The secret to successful cooking is to follow the recipe exactly. Just one little misstep, failure. <gasps> I've spent my entire life collecting these recipes. This book is priceless. A recipe for apple pie. A recipe for perfect coziness. And one for eternal youth. Ow. How to seem scary smart? How to win the lottery jackpot? Etc. Etc. You should start collecting recipes yourself, dear. Then, when you're my age, just might know everything about everything, just like old Olga does. And, uh, what if I really need to do something, but don't have the recipe yet? Well, then you could just ask your old friend Olga what to do, because she knows everything about everything, including soccer. Whoops. You know, everyone should ask me these things. <laughs> Just look. Crash and Chico decided to take a bath, but they obviously don't know how to do it properly. I'd be happy to teach them, but they're far too stubborn to ask. Look under B for bathroom. Badminton, bath bag. Uh -huh. I got it. There. Taking baths. Um, let's see how much the carrots added to my volume. Um, right. The first thing. The water should be much warmer. <laughs> What's next? We add some shampoo. Then work up some nice foam. And step three? And step three, we add to the water... Fragrant medicinal herbs. <laughs> step four, soak it in. <laughs> now rest and relax. <laughs> When he's soaked enough, give him a good scrub. What is a recipe? It's instructions for the meal that is life. Someone who's already been where you are has recorded their advice so others will know how they should handle it. With the benefit of experience, problems vanish when you follow the instructions. Ah! Uh, oh. The more recipes you have in your book, the better your life will be. If I have a philosophy, that's it. Oh, I'm a little worn out. I need to grab a nice little rest. Oh! 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 oh. Uh, huh? What on earth's the matter? Why are you screaming like that? Mm. Huh? If you really want washboard abs, don't let the shoe polish get too dry. Interesting. These are my recipes! <coughs> Crash! Chico! Olga's in trouble! Come on! I feel very tired, but I can't look up how to rest. <laughs> um, maybe don't eat your cookbook? When I accidentally shredded her secret life advice cookbook, it's almost like I shredded her brain. <laughs> and all that she's done since then is go, I'm tired, but I can't remember how to rest. I feel very tired. <laughs> hmm. Call me crazy, but could she be tired? She needs a restful place to rest. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that fresh air's restful, right? What a restful blue sky. Uh -huh. I wish I knew how to rest. Um. Perhaps a high-speed wheelbarrow ride isn't restful enough? But what would be? Huh. At times like this, I wish life had an instruction manual. Well, here's one. Put 
This here, beat out the dust, but try not to dislodge the whole pile. All right, but a pile of what? Don't know. That's all it said. <laughs> I feel so very tired. There's no dust. Moving on. Next one says give it water every three days. Done already. Put in lots of fertilizer. Yep, done that already. Uh -huh. Look. Keep in a dark place, well out of the reach of children. So very tired. Wish I knew how to rest. So very tired. Wish I knew how to rest. So very tired. I wish... Oh. Uh... Rosa! I'm here! Take out a fresh notebook, please. <laughs> Write this down. Recipe one. For a good rest, first, lay on the ground. Spread your wings out. And then lie and lie and lie. Do you know how you're going to celebrate New Year's? I'm gonna sleep. Wait a minute. What are you talking about? You can't sleep on New Year's. It's New Year's. Well, you should know by now that it's part of my nature. You see, I have to sleep for the whole winter. I'm having trouble falling asleep, so I'm getting a late start. I've already put on the extra fat I need. That part's the easy part. Don't give me this part of your nature, Baloney. It's your stubborn personality. It's the New Year. The holidays! It's a time for fairy tales and festivities! A time for true feelings! But not you! You don't feel anything at all! Except for the extra fat you've already put on! I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just a very relaxed bear. Uh-huh. Unbearably so! And if a log could talk, I suppose it would say something like, I'm not a log, I'm just relaxed. Are you uh, saying that I'm a log? Much worse. At least a log has a chance to branch out and do something fun. But I'm afraid it's way too late for you. So you really think that the only fun things in life are stuff that you like? Like costumes, masquerade balls, silly fantasies, and your fancy clothes? Just because a man puts in a hard day's work, then wants to take a nap for an hour or two, okay, maybe a couple of months, doesn't mean you can call him a log! I have a philosophic outlook on life! Night, Mr. Philosopher. And your extra fat. Whee! She calls me fat. Now that takes a cake. She wouldn't just take the cake, she'd eat it, too. Hello there, my little elf. Uh, yeah, he hello. Uh, who are you? I'm a fairy. Cool. So Barry is once again not celebrating the holiday. No, he's not. Oh, uh, these lights have a problem. My dear, let's not judge, Barry. We're all different. Everybody finds different things amusing. Certain things may energize some people, but not others. For some, it takes 120 volts, while others like to sleep in the winter, and others like to have fun! La la la, la la la, everybody dance and sing. La la la, la la la, no, this doesn't mean a thing. La la la, la la la. <laughs> but if Barry is going to sleep, we can borrow his lights. <laughs> no, no, stop. Uh, I'll get you. I'll get you. No, you can't. <laughs> you can't run away from me. Then try Elves to catch your fast. fairy, my little they elf. They can even fly. <laughs> catch me if you can. <laughs> you can't. You can't get me. <laughs> Somebody is going to end up all covered in snow. <laughs> You're a naughty little elf. I might have to just turn you into a bear again. <laughs> oh, oh, that's my friend Carlin. This is Tigress. She's a fairy. You're finally here. I've been waiting, my dear little dwarf. D -d dwarf? D dwarf? My dear little dwarf. Uh, sorry, my friend, but this is not a good time. You gotta go. Thank you for everything, my little elf. 
But now I have to go on my way with the dwarf. No, no, don't go away. It's almost New Year. We're celebrating <laughs> and having fun. <laughs> Goodbye, my little elf. Tigress, Tigress. Happy holidays to one now, and remember, all. Now remember, we have to check out each one of Let's these lights. Have okay? They might a not work. A very merry ball. Can you fix them just in case? Poets don't fix lights. What very exactly merry. do they do? The gnome sits alone at our old empty home. He feels bruised and small, abandoned by all. And his Wally, tears roll down. You stand up right now. You go open that door, and you bring Carlin back down to Earth. For some reason, I don't think neither Carlin nor the Earth need reuniting. Sometimes you can be so gutless. The flowers are growing as the tears continue to fall. And that's the end of my sad tale. You can't do this. You, you can't. Fairies shouldn't get in the way of our friendship. Carlin, we need to talk. We've known each other for a long time. I consider you a friend. And besides the extra fat, I've never changed much. But you see, Tigress, she's made me much better somehow. I'm happier and much more cheerful. She's not with me anymore, old chap. She took the reindeer and left. I feel so sleepy all of a sudden. Who did you say she left with? With a reindeer. She took all my gnome secrets with her and walked away. The two of them are headed hey, for the North Pole. We reindeer try not to use up our energy all at once. But since we have so much, we're not afraid to use it. Check this out. See that rock? Never mind. This rock is defective. To the North Pole! Wait! Hold on! <gasps> it looks like some thieves are trying to catch us. They're no match for the speed of a reindeer! Wait, don't go! Hold up! Wait, it isn't thieves. <laughs> it's the little elf and the gnome. Yes, that's us. We want to go to the North Pole with you. Absolutely not. You'd never make it. You're not strong enough. No, is that so? No, don't! You. Oh. <laughs> I'll scout ahead for danger. All right, everyone, follow me! Have you gone insane or something? Where do you think you're taking her in my sled? If she's really a fairy, let her conjure up her own sled! Don't be so greedy, dear. They say the way you welcome the new year is the way you spend it. Do you want to spend the entire year being greedy? <laughs> do you want to spend the entire year stuck in a... in a nut house? He's asleep on his feet. Huh? No, I'm not sleeping. I'll sing a song now that'll wake me right up. One, two, three. Yeah! Oh, yes, my baby. Just yesterday, I was a grumpy fella. Today, my mood is jolly and fun. If she were here, my mom would start to bella. My dad, I fear, would call 911. From here on out, I always will be merry. A bolt of grace has struck me so deep. 
you won't believe I'm still the same old Barry. Too bad I can't help falling Should asleep. Do? You can't live life as if you're just pretending and think that you can plan out your day. Cause from the sky, there's something that's descending to show you you've been dozing away. Get yeah, back. This waits a steaming sack of waffles So jump out of your bed with a leap But here's the catch The timing is just awful I don't know why I'm falling asleep Should we do? At night we snore as one like a team. Get up! You can't be like an armadillo. Why sleep when all our life is a dream? From here on out, we always will be merry. A bolt of grace has struck us so deep. Don't close your eyes. Just think of something scary. Too bad I can't help falling asleep. Scream, scream. Life is a dream. Too bad I can't help falling asleep. Keep, Keep it merry! Too bad I can't help falling asleep. Keep, Keep it merry! Too bad I can't help falling asleep. Should we do? <laughs> wow! Is nature really that powerful? Not even your magic can overcome it? Albalga kvarsi mash! Albalga kvarsi mash! Tiprangam yuti kash! Wake up, wake up, wake up! Wake up, wake up, wake up! Cut, cut, cut! What do you people think you're doing? Now listen, I don't know what company you work for, gentlemen, but I have a contract with this actress! I don't get it. Were you filming all this time or not? What do you mean, filming? Your hot air balloon got blown away from the set! We've been looking for you! Then who are these guys? How would I know? Reality farm show, maybe? Strange. Oh, reality show. They were They're good. They're killing the industry. Why would anyone waste their time and money on a well written There screen? goes the miracle. It's not over. Now, it's just flown away. <laughs> good job. You fixed the lights. What are we supposed to say to Barry when he wakes up? We simply say to him, Happy New Year. Scream, scream. Birvasai, yesterday I decided to resaw the circuits in the transistor. The old one, you know. I thought maybe it doesn't work, and that's why I don't hear anything from you on either the long wave or short wave band. Ugh. Dear boy, your behavior. Maybe I raised you poorly. Sometimes I think I should have done more. But you should write me. I worry about you, baby. I think I don't know. Is it too difficult to call? Papa, how are you? I'm missing you ever so much. I promise to come home soon. <sighs> I wish you'd come home for vacation. I broke my iron. Can you fix it? You wouldn't believe how smart and talented he's become. Every day he writes and calls and says, Papa, I miss you so much. I'd love to come home right now, but I can't. I'm very busy. Everyone needs me here. I cannot leave. They need me. And I say to him, good, study, work hard, do well, son. <sighs> it's tremendously good when everyone needs you, yeah? I'm proud, yeah? La la! 
La 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 My good friend, I had to drop by. You'll never guess who's here. My baby! Huh? Who? Uh, uh, oh, well, of course. Uh, let me just set my grand piano. I mean, no, no, a uh, table. We'll set the table and celebrate. No, another time. Excuse us, we're very busy. Oh, my goodness, what is that? Shoe wipe. Shoe! Barry! Don't you recognize him? Maybe he's come back to me. Whew. Let's go back to my place and <laughs> celebrate. <laughs> There's no time. There are so many things we need to discuss. So many things to catch up on. There. <sighs> Tell me, boy, what's been going on with you? Tell me everything. Happy Happy birthday. Look at you. He's What's taking so long? long? Oh, Chico and I made you some super cool plans. For vacation. Yeah, hey, hey! 7 p.m. We're going to the grill. talking here. At 8.30, we're going to do scary stories and so many more terrific things. Bibi, we'll have lunch. Half do. hour. Don't be late. Woo-hoo! Oh, hey. Oh, woo! <laughs> we're swinging. <laughs> Oh, ah. oh, yeah. oh, incredible! <laughs> I've started it, now you try. Of course, when I get to this side, you gotta be careful, because they're real attractive to pet. Ah! The majestic eminence. Come on, come on, come on! Oh. <laughs> Come back here! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah! Aw, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on! Heads up! No! <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you didn't manage to tell me anything that's happened to you. It's okay, though. I see that everything's just fine. You are my greatest guy. Only, please do write me about anything. Your daily schedule. I got you some fresh batteries. Don't forget to recharge them. And don't forget your old dad, Pin. Remember, you're always welcome at home. Uh, go now. Go now. After not receiving any communication, our friend Pin has become quite worried about Bibi. Setting off for outer space in search of his creation, Pin met some unexpected friends on the way. And this was only the beginning of a series of intergalactic mishaps. Hold on! Pin! 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 <coughs> Pin! Wake up! <coughs> We've got to open it! <coughs> I will suffocate! <coughs> Work. Oh, come on. What 
What's happening, computer? I'm sorry, Pin. It appears the engine has failed. There must be something we can do. I'm sorry, Pin. We cannot return to home planet. The engine has failed. It would be far too dangerous. What a catastrophe! We've got to get some help! Send an SOS signal! Stat! Please let someone hear our signal. If someone doesn't come quickly, we are done for. Uh, I think we're pretty much doomed here. Emergency door can only be used from the inside. Hey, lady, you heard him. Open the door. Yeah, like, pretty please. Now you listen here. Yeah. I am not opening that door. If you don't open that door right now, you're in a world of trouble. Get down. <laughs> Your threats won't work, big ears. Now back up, or do I have to give you a big zap? <laughs> please, computer. I can hardly breathe. Oxygen. Really? Baby! Pin? Pin! We're losing him. Isn't there a backup engine? Turn on the backup! I'm afraid I can't do that. I'm afraid I can't do that. Turn on the backup engine this instant! Whoa. Huh? Chico! I think we're moving! Bring it closer. Steady. Okay, sure. How'd you do it? Search me. Go slower. I'm trying to. Keep going, buddy. <gasps> oh, that was a close one. What the? It's BB. Space, 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 oh space. space, dummy. Baby saved us. He heard your SOS signal, so he came and saved us all. Baby? But why isn't he here? Where is he? He had a jet, but we took this picture while you were sleeping. Baby, just look at him. That's my boy, all right. That's him. He had to go back to, uh, what do you call it? Corna Kappa Capricorn, something like that. Out of space business. But don't worry about it, Pin. He said he'd come back. The Harvey, anyway. Bound for home. I'm flying through space, space. I'm flying through space, space. Space, 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 space. Fasten your seatbelts. Prepare for Earth landing. Buckle up, everybody. Fasten Whee! your seatbelts. Prepare for Earth landing. Yeah, we heard you, lady. Um, did we just land? You know, I'm not sure. I think we did. Huh. Well, there's only one way to find out. Hey, computer lady, open the pod bay doors, will ya? I'm afraid I can't do that. 
I'm afraid I can't do that. What you looking for? Hmm. Just looking for my ball. Oh, the yellow one? Mm-hmm. You're never gonna find it that way. You need to look for it from way up high, Chico. What do you mean, up high? Well, you're gonna need to get yourself a great big kite. You know, one with big comfy seats and a steering wheel on it. And wait for a giant wind. Launch yourself into the sky and look for the ball from up there. A yellow ball will be easy to spot. Uh, you seriously serious? Of course! You trust me, right? <laughs> Crash, are you sure about this? Just trust me, Chico. Now let's go! <laughs> I've been told that I'm a goon, a wild, crazy, big baboon. I'm like a stick of dynamite who blows up everything in sight. There's some truth in what they claim, but I'm not the one to blame. The one to blame for what you see is a goof who lives inside of me. This goof who lives inside of me, he never Jigsaw works of our street, a troublemaker first degree. His sneaky mischief never stops. He's a headspin like a top. A troublemaker first degree. His dares all get the best of me. <laughs> okay, all we need to do is use the kite as a giant sled, and we can climb in it and ride it down the mountain. <laughs> Are you seriously serious? <laughs> Come on, Chico, trust me. Uh, are you ready? What if I say no, Crash? No! I only wanted one thing. I just wanted to find my ball. If I didn't find it, I really wouldn't be very upset at all. But now I'm getting upset. That's it. The balls. We just got to start bouncing, you know, like balls. We'll bounce from one wall to another and we'll keep going till we make it all the way to the top. Are you seriously serious? Come on, Chico. Trust me. I trusted you every other time. But now, instead of sitting at home drinking tea, I'm stuck here! Chico, I think you might have trust issues. Do we? Are you ready? Yes. One, two, three! Ready? Yes. One, two, three! Chico! Chico! Uh, I'm coming! Oh. Uh. Ah! I could have lived some other way I could have learned to do crochet Or spend my summer time at camp So sad at home collecting stamps I could be reading books that I And at the end my friends would say How will I do? Goof who lives inside of me, he never lets me be. His tricks are worse of our street, a troublemaker first degree. His sneaky mischief never stops, it makes my head spin like a top. A troublemaker first degree. His dares all get the best of me. His goof who lives inside of me, he never ever lets me be. His tricks are worse of our street, a 
Listen, we just need to catch a couple sharks, and then put a harness on them. Our strength is <coughs> running low. I don't know how far we can swim, but we can do this, okay? Grab the first shark that swims by, okay? You follow me? Who are you? Huh? Oh, seriously serious? No, I'm kidding. Look, the shore. <sighs> My ball. Right there. Mm -hmm. That's my ball. It seriously is. See, Chico, without me, you would have been looking for your ball forever. His sneaky miss. <sighs> Again? Oh, no. I don't understand. Why does this keep happening? Uh, just as I thought. But who keeps doing this to my crops? Hmm. According to this, it's super weird. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so these crop circles, <clears throat> anyone you suspect? If I knew who to suspect, I'll tell you, I'd go and teach them a thing or two. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 feet long. I think it could be dinosaurs or some kind of insect that ate it all. Insects? Insects don't make designs. And also, insects are just too small. Or some kind of giant. Hmm. That must be it. Let's consider it. Hmm. Like an elephant. Whoa. Think about it. He stumbled on through here and then felt so bad about it, he ran off. Unless you've made hmm. some elephants mad recently. Hmm. hmm. No. This isn't working. Let's take to the skies. I've known lots of elephants. They wouldn't do this. It was the wind. Just normal wind patterns. Nothing more. Yeah, let's go. Did you want us as a plane? Finn, have I ever let you down before? Don't make me answer that. Okay, my bad, but let's look at our new evidence. I now believe your crop circles were left by aliens. Seriously, they're like gonna invade or something. So that's not great. Oh, why would they pick us? Oh, maybe they just want me. Huh. Sweet sauerkraut. Crash, I don't think aliens did this. Holy carrots, looks like Chico. We just want the true story, and tell us everything, now. Did you make aliens do this, huh? I ought to... Mm. Hang on. Chico, did you do this all by yourself? Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Chico, you can't stay quiet forever. I just wanted to reach out to someone in space. Mm. Okay. Mm. These aliens. How long have you and these evil aliens been in cahoots? And do you know when they'll invade us? I've never been in contact with any aliens. I'm little, and I always thought that no one could see me if they were looking from space. So I drew myself in the field, and just maybe someone can see it. But why would you need to be seen from space? I, I just thought that maybe it would be a good way to show the aliens what I looked like. 
Maybe they'd think we looked similar. You look like someone who's in trouble. Couldn't use paint, huh? That'd be too easy. Let's use Barry's crops instead. doing your space stuff. <laughs> so that's what you're, uh, doing, huh? And I thought you could use a hand. I'm helpful, you know? <laughs> hmm. Space. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe somewhere out there, other life form thingies really are looking for us. That would be super weird. But also kind of cool. Probably. Yeah, that would be so, so amazing. Sadly, we're too small to see. Maybe someone's looking down at us. Except, there's nothing to see. Darkness. Hmm. Well, that's just depressing. There is that confounded thing. I swear I was going to declutter this garage ages ago. Oh, yeah. Found it here. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Safe trail. I'm truly sorry for you. I really am. It's not true! I understand you're upset, my dear. Is there any way to scream without being so loud? I'll try! But I'm sick and tired of it. More sick than tired. We all have to simply calm down. Please! What's going on? That's a very interesting story. Mm -hmm. However, if you've got the time, I'd like to hear the full version. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. Would you looky there? She was calm as a hand in egg laying time. You have a talent, a huge talent. It's nothing special. Sometimes, all that it takes for one to calm down is to have someone who will listen to you. We heard everything she said, but she wouldn't stop hollering. There's a difference between hearing and listening. Carlin, I brought some dried pineapple rings. You mind if we talk? The thing is, I don't really care. I mean, I suppose I could paint it yellow. Even though I know that pink would be a much better color. Why does he have a problem with pink anyway? Mm -hmm. Or maybe his problem is with the color yellow. Explain that to me, Carlin. You're the psychologist. Help me out here. Mm -hmm. I'm not a psychologist. Yeah, yeah, I think I get what you're saying. It's not about the color. This whole thing is about Chico. I mm, think he's colorblind. I performed three different tests to check all the variables. Why does it keep coming up with the same error over and over? Can't you tell me what I'm doing wrong? After brushing my teeth, I washed my face with cold water. I splashed on a little pine cone oil so I'd smell good. For some strange reason, that oil was on the third shelf. I always put it on the second one. Then I hung the towel. It fell down. I hung it again. It fell down again. I hung it again. 
Yeah, I bet you're thinking it fell down. Mm. You're right, it did. <laughs> First computation, second computation. <laughs> But when I started to comb my hair, I kept looking at the towel. It fell down. I hung it again. Hey, Carlin, where are you going? Do you want to take a gander at the towel? Well, I have it right here. Be quiet. There he is. Kylan, are you feeling all right? No. I'm afraid that I'm not all right. No one is all right. They can't be. It's just not possible. But that doesn't mean that I have to be the one to listen to all your problems. Do you understand? Tell your problems to each other. You are friends, after all. Share with each other. Come on, now. He's falling apart. He's having a nervous breakdown. What are we supposed to do? We don't have another Carlin. Who's going to help him? Us. We will help him. He'll do the talking, and then we will listen. Carlin, talk. <laughs> We're going to listen to you. Please leave me alone. I've had enough. That's a good start. All of your petty problems, they're not worth half an egg. None of you would know a real problem if it came up and bit you on the beak. Yeah, <laughs> you're on a roll. I don't like any of you. You made me a nervous wreck, just like yourselves. Is that what you wanted? Did you think I'd just keep quiet? Was that enough for you? Just wait. I haven't even gotten started. <clears throat> Please forgive me. Just a momentary weakness. I said a few things that perhaps I shouldn't have. But if anyone would like to talk about whatever it is that's on your mind, right this way. The doctor is in. That's not going to happen. Floating and lion fluff sounds peaceful and all, but... Uh, that too. <sighs> no, it's not going to happen. No one wants a bear falling out of the sky, do they? Piece of dandelion fluff falling on your head is one thing, but a giant bear? That's a different story. <sighs> it's not like that. You come down slowly. The parachute keeps it nice and smooth, like when you jump off a stool. But when you jump off a stool, it's over all at once. With the parachute, you get a whole minute of joy. Can you imagine? A minute you'll never forget as long as you live. I want to forget about it now. Remember to wait for my command? Uh-huh. And then you're gonna jump right after that! Uh-huh. Uh, I got it. Count to three, then pull the uh -huh. ring hard. Uh -huh. I got it. And once the parachute opens up, uh -huh. then sit back uh -huh. for the best minute of your life. Oh, uh, minute? Just lend like you're jumping off a fence. Uh -huh. And be sure to keep your legs bent. Keep them bent. 
You're in luck today. You're gonna get a lot of lift. What does that mean? You'll maybe stay up for a whole three minutes. Uh, okay. No, ah! Ah! <laughs> yes! Yeah! <laughs> <Excellent>. <laughs> You're doing it! Do it. Look oh. good! Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> oh, yeah! Look out below! Air Fluff coming in for a landing! <laughs> 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 Barry, what are you doing? He got caught in a strong air current. We have to Don't stop worry. him. Hold on. We're gonna get you, pal. Oh, oh. Ah, what do I do? How do I stop it? You'll be okay. You'll be okay. The wind's blowing you up. But don't worry. Just had an idea. No, let's do this. I don't get. Why, we could land, and he's still staying up, right? Somehow he keeps catching those great air currents. Hm. I wish I could stay up there like that. Oh, oh, make it stop. Oh. Somebody help me. Yeah. I can't get it to slow down. Chico, you can't fly away, too. Hanging around. Hanging around, 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 hanging around. Great job! You did it! Well, it was so much fun! Let's get you down. <laughs> Didn't we tell you the air currents would die down? <laughs> That's right! Can you imagine it? All day long and he didn't have to do anything! Lucky! I wish I could do that! <gasps> just fly all day! <gasps> what a dream! What a gift! I just wish I had the receipt! <laughs> That's one gift I'd like to return! A warm Saturday afternoon is the perfect time for spring cleaning, especially if there's a friend there to help. And especially if it wasn't done last spring, or the spring before that, or... <laughs> you know, there's a lot of stuff in here I don't think you need. Thanks, but I do need all those things. Of course I do. If you say so. Uh oh. What about this? I need that too. Oh, what's this? 
I don't know. What's in there? I can see. What's in there? Hey, look at this. <sighs> Let's screw it in. All we need is electricity. I don't have it. Or a lamp. Oh, oh let's go to Pins. He always has everything. <sighs> <sighs> That's cool. Yes, but what is it? <laughs> Thanks. I call it perpetual motion. It takes wood like so and turns it into energy. And then it takes more wood to burn and it makes more energy. <laughs> ah, then it gives you electricity, am I right? No, it doesn't give me anything. It just takes and takes. Say, what do you need electricity for anyway? This. Ooh, that is one fine looking light bulb. Just a moment. <laughs> Behold, this machine transforms power from the wind into electricity. I will explain. The wind blows, the blades rotate, and then the lights turn on. But look at it. It's not on. <laughs> well, the wind is not blowing, and the blades are not rotating, and so therefore the light bulb is, is not, not on. on. Hmm. Uh, maybe we could do it without wind. This here should help. <laughs> now that's more like it. Maybe it works better with wind. But where's the wind? Oh, you know the wind. Here one day, gone the next. But don't worry, someday the wind will return. Ah! No, no, bad machine. What's the fence ever done to you? Oh, I've got it. We're going to dig a hole right through the earth. Then the wind can travel through the hole and get to us faster. <laughs> <laughs> So what is it you guys are up to this time? We are digging a big hole. Then when the wind's blowing around on the other side of the earth, it'll also be blowing here. Tell me, are you crazy? We will get the most dreadful draft. And dreadful drafts lead to dreadful coals. I hereby demand you exit this hole. Come on, Olga. Just be a pal. Let us dig. Just be a pal? Pals don't let pals get sick. Huh? Now exit the hole. Wow. Next, can you try to make wind, please? I don't know, but what the heck? Let's try and find out. <laughs> the solar cell is what we need. It creates electricity from the sun and not the wind. <laughs> Actually, its smart lights should be on when it's dark, not in the day when the sun is shining. What a great point. We need to build something that creates energy at night. We're all supposed to sleep at night. Hmm. Maybe we're all supposed to sleep, but not all of us can. Especially if your house happens to be located right next to the den of Big Barry the Bear. That bear snores so loudly that every single wall in my house shakes. Big Bear lungs! A Big Bear snoring will produce big gusts of wind! It's on! Sweet sauerkraut! It's working! Shh, quiet! What's going on? Oh, why is it so bright? Barry, sleep, 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 sleep. I don't know how it is where you are, but around here, spring cleaning is a big adventure. So big, in fact, that sometimes we don't actually get around to the cleaning part. But one way or another, things do tend to work out. <laughs>